Well, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's, let's let you know that Governor Greg Abbott has declared a state of disaster for 30 counties in Texas, including Aransas, B, Jim Wells, Live Oak, Nueces, and San Patricio. And as we've been saying now, the city is about prepared to have a news conference to discuss Tropical Depression Harvey. Let's go there live right now with the Mayor Joe McComb. Come today, it's, uh, things are a little exciting in Corpus Christi right now. Uh, as we get started, we want to make sure that we communicate as well as we can with our entire community. And uh, to my left, if you haven't figured it out, is uh, Tony Padilla. She is an interpreter for the deaf that uh, the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Center was kind enough to make available to us so that uh, those watching at home uh, are going to be able to get the message the same as the rest of us in the community. And so we want to make sure that the, the entire community is, is kept informed of what we're doing. Uh, the purpose for me to be here is just to assure you, the citizens, that uh, the staff is working hard behind the scenes. Uh, they have done many, many practices, uh, simulations of what to do, and it's game time, and they're ready. And so uh, I feel confident. I was in some meetings this morning with them, and I can assure you I've uh, got as much confidence in them as I could possibly have. I feel safe, and I think the community needs to feel safe that the folks that are making the calls and doing what they're supposed to be doing are ready, willing, and able. And so we just want to communicate with you what the situation is currently with uh, the weather and to pay attention to what is advised by these different folks that have different responsibilities and uh, just give you the assurance that we have confidence in them and their ability to protect us. Our number one goal is to protect lives and property, and that's what they're here to do. And so uh, I'd like to uh, introduce to you the, the captain of the ship, and that's uh, City Manager Margie Rose, and then she'll introduce her team, and uh, we hope that we can get this uh, message out to the public, and we'll get through this. Uh, I've seen Corpus Christi come together in, in other crisis situations and emergencies, and we've got a great city full of people uh, that work together, and so I think we can face this head on. So. Uh, Ms. Rose? No. Oh. So, good afternoon. Um, thank you, Mayor. Um, so, as we all know, that um, there is this storm that may be heading in our direction, and as a result, there are some things that um, we are preparing for, one of which is our J.C. Elliott transfer station. Um, we are extending the hours to 8 p.m., uh, today and tomorrow, um, and the residents are, are encouraged to bring any loose debris, material, or trash uh, to the station to aid in the removal of any airborne debris flying during the high winds. Now, additionally, um, we are going to make some sandbags available um, starting today. Uh, the city will be providing self-serve options for residents to get sandbags. And by this, what we mean is the residents will be able to fill up to 20 sandbags per household or business free of charge during daylight hours only. So the sandbag self-serve station is located in the city service center on Civitan near our city fueling station. And once you get on Civitan, there will be signs there, hopefully going up as we're talking or in the process of, um, that will lead you to that area. Uh, it is important uh, to remember that it's only up to 20 per household or business, and again, this is free of charge. Uh, these are some of the things we are trying to do to aid and assist you as we prepare for the potential storms. Now with that, I would like to turn it over to our fire chief, um, Chief Rocha, to provide additional information. Okay, so there we are, the live news conference from City Hall. City Manager Margie Rose uh, filling in the blanks there. If you have any loose debris, you can mm -hmm. take them to the Elliott uh, Transfer Station. And mm -hmm. what about the sandbags? Well, the sandbags available in case you need them. Uh, they're also saying that, hey, the city's prepared. They met with EOC officials today. First responders are prepared. If disaster occurs, they're going to be ready. Uh, street flooding, 
high winds, they're going to be ready for all right. of this. So this right. the sandbags they're, they're getting can, on top of this. Right, right. That is correct. And she was saying, Margie Rose, the city manager, everybody can go and get their sandbags filled for free mm -hmm. on Civitan, right. up to 20 per household or 20 for business. Right. So we'll have more on this as the afternoon, as the evening progresses. But right now, this uh, possibility of Tropical Depression Harvey making landfall has folks preparing for the worst case scenario.